This episode is presented by Grandma's Big Hug 4, the mobile squeezing game taking the world by storm. From the company that has your childhood nostalgia in a death grip, comes a game that combines the magical nonsense of Final Fantasy, the vast expanses of WoW, and the community of Club Penguin in an epic adventure, the scope of which you've never seen before. Except for that other time they did it. Final Fantasy XIV, Shadowbringers. Log in to the not-so-Final Fantasy XIV, a game so disliked at launch that they literally destroyed the world and started over. Then watch as a realm reborn actually rebirths a realm into one of the biggest MMOs in an age where no one plays those anymore. And shockingly, that didn't mean going free to play. Then turn the page in a brand new story about crystals or whatever and embody the warrior of light, the last hope for a war-torn land as you ignore the 14 million other last hopes emoting in the chat and journey through the breathtaking landscapes of Eorzea, encountering a mishmash of fantasy tropes, taking down familiar enemies, and doing a metric ton of menial labor to stop the influence of these Organization 13 looking a-holes. Then, forget everything I just said and jump into a totally different dimension where you'll fight off the light with your newfound powers as the warrior of darkness and battle the corrupting influence of Sin Eaters and the Empire in an extremely dense story that packs in the usual amount of anime bl for a Final Fantasy game. Oh, and also, whatever this is. Now that is called character development. Slide into the extremely familiar gameplay loop of 14 that serves up exactly what you're expecting from the MMO genre, where you'll accept quests to beat up five goblins, fetch things, and run through dungeons like their theme park rides. In a nod to its FF roots, sit through some very long cutscenes, then do it all over again with a completely new class as FF allows you to be every job on the same character and start from level one all over again, allowing you to justify grinding your life away at a virtual millstone even more easily than before, until you run out of space for the ass pile of items they give you. I have to keep all these pants. You never know when green slacks are gonna come in handy. Fashion is unyielding. Cut into the meat of Final Fantasy XIV's battle system as you leave grinding behind and join up with actual humans to unleash different skills and attacks to create ability combos that spice up the bog-standard tank, healer, and DPS mechanics that power the combat and will have you scything through mobs of enemies like Digiweed until you finally reach the payoff for the three months you've sunk into this game getting to play the nerd equivalent of a team sport as you join raids to take down iconic characters from Final Fantasy's past in pitched battles against giant foes that mostly test your ability to not stand in AoEs. Then, eventually, fell the creature for a bunch of loot that never goes to you. Or go full hikikomori and take people out of the equation entirely until you realize that means you actually have to be good at the video game. Hmm, <sighs> I guess a 15-minute queue time isn't too bad. So fire up that duty finder and glamour up that ugly hat for an MMO that defies expectations by actually getting better every expansion. Uh, mostly. And brings you as much of an authentic Final Fantasy experience as you can expect from the genre and it better damn well deliver because this is expensive as hell. Look, I can stop whenever I want. I can, I just need this. This emote that lets me industrial dance. Starring, first greatest dad, child of light, Magic Kate and Ashley Olsen, you stole my heart, Yu-Gi-Oh!
sweetest potato. Don Corneo, Pie May, Crystal Chronicles, Handsome Jack, and OC Do Not Steal. Fantasy Star Online 14. Wait a minute. You mean there's no 24-hour boss fights in this one? This game's for casuals. This episode is presented by Grandma's Big Hug 4, the mobile squeezing game taking the world by storm. Jesus saves. Everyone else takes half points of damage. I am inevitable. Come forth, Slifer the Sky Dragon. I shall endure a thousand deaths before I yield. Snake, snake, snake!